Hello everyone, my name is Zareth Acharya and in this video I'm going to be talking about invertebrates and their phylums. First off, in the animal kingdom, there are two sub-kingdoms, vertebrates and invertebrates. We're going to be talking about invertebrates and their uh, phylums. So first off, an invertebrate is those species that don't have a vertebral column. Now I'm going to talk about protozoa. Protozoa are the primitive animals of invertebrates. They are single celled and uh, an example of pro a protozoan is an omoba. Next, in porifera, uh, they have uh, numerous pores in their body and unlike protozoa, they are multicellular. An example of porifera is cycon. Celentrata uh, is the species that have a hollow body. Uh, one example of celentrata is uh, a hydra. Uh, Platyhelminthes is the uh, Platyhelminthes is the worms that have a flat, soft body. An example of Platyhelminthes is a tapeworm. Uh, in Ashhelminthes, uh, the, they have a cylindrical and unsegmented body. In this one, we have um, a roundworm, and in Annelida, we have um, those uh, worms that have a cylindrical, cylindrical and segmented body, and in this one we have a round uh, earthworm. In arthropoda, we have uh, species that have jointed legs. An example of arthropoda is a spider. In mollusca, we have the species that have a hard shell out their body to protect themselves. One example is an octopus. And finally, echinodermata, uh, the species that have a spiny skin, so for example, a, a starfish. So these were the distinguishing characters of phylums in invertebrates. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I th and thought it was informative. Thank you. Bye.